This week gave me an important opportunity to reflect on the real strength and continuity of the relationship that we have between Jersey and the United Kingdom. On Monday, I attended a meeting of what was called the Channel Islands All-Party Parliamentary Group in London, which is a bit of a mouthful, but that was formed to promote a better understanding in Parliament of the issues facing the Channel Islands and to develop better relations between ourselves and the United Kingdom. And as I told the attendees at the event, we're not part of the United Kingdom, but we do have very much in common. We acknowledge and value our similarities, our shared history, our monarchy, culture, values, and the rule of law. But it is also important to note our differences. We are each fiercely and proudly independent jurisdictions, and each have our own democratically elected parliaments, and we all pass legislation to meet, both, to meet both the needs of our populations, but also our international obligations. And last week, uh, Jersey took a very significant step to meet one of those obligations. And we did so by publishing a joint commitment reached with Guernsey and the Isle of Man to pursue a series of steps in relation to our central register of beneficial ownership. And I also reminded the attendees that we should not forget the value of Jersey to the wider world. So, for example, at present we facilitate around half a trillion pounds of investment into the United Kingdom, and that's worth about five billion pounds a year in tax to HMRC. But also from a different perspective, which is also a fantastic story, is we have significant overseas aid projects, and including one that has led to the quadrupling of milk production in, in Rwanda through our expertise in crossbreeding the Jersey cow uh, with the uh, local African cow. And don't forget, the Jersey cow, as a herd, is the second largest dairy herd in the world. And so tomorrow, I'm going to be attending the 32nd British Irish Council Summit in Manchester. Now, BIC was created as an outcome of the Good Friday Agreement, and the Council um, was therefore established to promote positive, practical relationships among the members. The summit will bring together the governments of Ireland, the United Kingdom, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, the Isle of Man, Guernsey and Jersey. And it will allow all of us to focus on critical issues that will affect people living across the British Isles and Ireland. And it's not just about Brexit, but that has been a significant part of the conversation we've had over the past few months. But critical commitments to transitioning to smart energy systems, supporting the decarbonisation of energy, an important step in combating climate change. Uh, I look forward to very interesting 24 and 48 hours, and we'll come back to you later.